Hello everybody and welcome to the world premiere of the Minivision Urban Out. My name is Amius and first of all I would like to introduce you to Oliver Heimer. He is the head of the Mini Design team. Hi everybody. I am happy to be joined by Bernd Kaba today, head of Mini. Thank you Oliver. So Oliver and Bernd, please tell me where does the name Minivision Urban Out come from and uh, what does it stand for? Our vision uh, is a vision of space and its name was inspired on one hand by its urban roots and on the other by its versatile character that opens up surprising new perspectives. And the user is invited to explore all the possibilities within and beyond city limits in a totally new way. For us, the mini version Urban Out extends the user's private space into the public sphere. It is within our DNA uh, to keep Mini ahead of its time. We have successfully expanded into the compact car segment some years back. We have now asked Oliver and his team to create a vision of future electric mobility. And I'm thrilled they have come up with the Urban Out. You know what? Could you tell me, like, how does the Mini design team come up with the idea for a vision vehicle? Well, Amias, that's a really good question. You know what? Come with me. I will show it to you. Oh, okay. Welcome to the beginning of the design process. Okay, got it. So very interesting, a totally blank page. But only at the beginning. We started by thinking from the customer's perspective and asked ourselves, how do we want to live in an urban environment in the future? And how we will deal with the space? I mean, yeah, that's something we would all like to know, but how does that relate to cool new car features? It's not just about car features. It's uh, more about a change of perspective. Mm -hmm about how we can deal with interior space and how will we create experiences. With this in mind, we simply defined three exemplary mini moments. Chill, wanderlust and vibe. And they should reflect basic needs and situations that everyone knows. So let me show you the first one, chill. Wow. Think of a daily routine or waking up on a Saturday morning Chilling, the city is still quiet. All right, all right, I feel that chill moment. <laughs> and I'm completely relaxed, enjoying the moment. And how do I want to experience this? How do I prefer to sit or lay down? And then on what? Yeah, that's a good question. So I like it more cozy, like couch, music, relaxing colors. Yeah, by looking at such moments, we were able to transfer these feelings to a Mini. And we wanted to design a space rather than a vehicle. Mm -hmm. A place to relax from the busy world outside. A little retreat, or we call it an urban oasis. A space that really adapts to the situations I'm in. And the technology that makes that possible should be invisible. Sorry, you said invisible? So we started the design process by taping the mini typical footprint right on the floor. And then we asked ourselves, how much space do I really need to feel comfortable in any given situation? So that sounds super exciting. Seems you're thinking vehicle design in a completely new way. That takes courage, doesn't it? We really needed to break with familiar conventions. So we started collecting moods, visual references like uh, material samples, sustainable fabrics, colors, you know, all the things that make up the various moments in our lives. And we tried to deeply understand what people want to surround themselves with in different moments. And we wanted to create uh, something that feels like home to a certain extent. Mm -hmm and definitely not like the classic car interior. All right, so I got it. So you designed a living room for the road. Well, that was the idea. And these seating units um, are designed to give you this feeling of chill and fit into the small space. And we call it the cozy corner. It's a space in which you can relax, read a book, have a longer conversation with your best friend, that looks extremely cozy. So, do I see that right? This retreat is completely made of fabric and, wait, I mean, it looked like I'm sitting under a tree. Yes. And the fabric in the cozy corner is backlit and plays with the impression of natural light and shadows. And in the front, we created another highlight. It's a dashboard that transforms 
into a day bed. Wow. And, you know, with ideas like these, we created a whole new lounge experience. Okay, cool. So, and this lounge can drive? Of course. <laughs> but our vision is not only about getting from A to B. It's much more about an exciting journey with a lot of joyful surprises. Like when I want to get out of the city during the day. Mm -hmm. And we've called this moment Wanderlust. It's a journey where I am digitally connected so I can discover recommendations from friends like you along my route. Yeah, I remember. So, for example, so you on your way from Munich to Innsbruck, you could go to the Olympic skiing stadium uh, I've told you about right over there. Yes, right. I would love to go there and see it. So, but seriously, this is the entire interior? I mean, where are all the instruments? Don't worry, we thought of everything. You know, in the Wanderlust moment, the entire interior is geared towards the driving direction. Mm -hmm. In this moment, we can either have the mini version Urban Out drive us in an automated mode, okay. or if you want to drive yourself, a steering wheel appears. The vehicle then can give you driving directions as it's fully connected. Mm -hmm. And you will find that information layer right on the fabric, which is hidden behind the textile. All right. Pretty cool. So, but these are the only features of the interior that actually remind me of a vehicle. Yes. We want it to be as reduced as possible. An unusual, comfortable mobile space. Mm -hmm. But let me show you something else. Okay. To change between the three moments, we developed an analog yet intelligent device. We call it the Mini Token. And it's a beautiful tactile experience. At Mini, we call it analog love with digital connection. And thanks to that, the device becomes one with the vehicle. And here it is. Whoa, nice feel. And what do I do with this? You place it in one of those slots in the table. Ah, okay. And, and here's a third slot. Uh, what is that one for? This is for the third moment. We call it Vibe. And you will experience it now. Oh, wow. I like that. It looked like it's evening now. I like that kind of atmosphere. Yes, you know. At the end of an eventful day, you may want to spend some time with your friends or family. So check this out. The vehicle adapts to the situation and your needs. Mm -hmm. But let's take a closer look at the exterior too. Okay. Yes. You know, the vehicle comes across as really clean and minimal. And this made it even more important to think about the details as a contrast to the overall look. And what you see in many typical style, the wheels are at the outermost corners of the body. And they're inspired by skateboards, sparkle or glow in different patterns, depending on the moment you have been selecting. And the same for sure goes for the front and the rear lights. So, that's our visionary space concept, the Mini Vision Urbanaut. I'm totally impressed by what can happen when you put some colors on a blank page and your design ideas turn into reality. Thanks, Amias. It was really fun sharing with you how we are thinking about the future mm -hmm. of urban mobility and about creating a unique space in a city when you're not driving. You know what? 
I would like to try it now. So then, let's go for a ride moment. Hello and welcome. I'm happy you joined me here. Let's take a closer look at the Minivision Urbanaut in all its details. It's our new fully electric vision vehicle that is designed to make you feel like being at home, whether you're on the road or just enjoying your time in the city. It adapts to your needs in various situations. We call these situations mini moments and we created three of them. Chill, Wanderlust and Vibe. In the chill moment, I can rest when I'm not driving. My Mini becomes a compact urban oasis, a place of retreat within the city. You might say it's my personal pause button. Wanderlust is the mode for being on the road. For us at Mini, driving is not just about getting from A to B. It's for exploring the world, gaining new experiences and impressions every day. The Mini Moment vibe is all about family and friends, hanging out with them and simply having a good time together. With the Mini Vision Urban Out, we really wanted to create a car that stimulates all your senses. So we designed it with a holistic approach, perfectioning the interplay between form, materials, illumination moods, and even sound. To choose between the moments, we created a special device, the Mini Token. It may feel analog, but it is the digital interface with the car. Depending on where you place it at the table, the specific Mini Moment is activated. The exterior, and especially the interior, transform accordingly. As you can see, experiencing the urban out is very important to us. But let's have a closer look now at the design details. Let's start with the interior. It is designed from inside out. We intended it to be an extension of your private home, more a living room than a vehicle. We wanted to create a space in which you can enjoy the journey and at the same time Enjoy the transformed interior when you're not driving. The layout is split into three zones and offers in total four seats. The central space is designed wide and open. It invites you to take a seat. And as you can see, the interior is completed with a small table and above, typical for many, our round display. The front is flooded with light, open and airy. The two front seats can be rotated. When you're not driving, the dashboard is sliding down and can be turned into a daybed. You can even open the textile and slip inside, like into a little lightweight sleeping bag. The rear of the car is designed like a little retreat. The textile covered and backlit loop acts like a shelter. With the flexible backrests folded, it becomes a generous area a place to withdraw and feel safe and secure. We call this area Cozy Corner. To make the interior as inviting and cozy as possible, we used various textiles, each with a super soft touch. And we used cork as a beautiful contrast, but essentially for its natural room climate activity. Wherever possible, the materials we used are sustainable. We are chrome-free, and completely leather-free. We've reduced complexity in the design to focus on the essentials, experiencing the space and interacting with it in harmony with our environment. Now we come to one of my favorite details. It can be used as a table light, but in fact, it is the round display. And it's typical for a Mini, except this time, we have placed it in the center of the urban out rather than in the center of the dashboard. 
And this makes the display visible from every position. You could say it's the soul of the Mini. And as you can clearly see, it was our priority that technology is nearly invisible in the interior. No switches, no buttons, making room for a naturally relaxing space. The keyword here is digital detox. All information layers, apart from the round instrument, are hidden behind textiles. Take the loop. It can play various animations generating suitable moods in the cozy corner. Or have a look at the dashboard where you normally expect an instrument cluster. The information layer behind the textile provides route instructions and indicates obstacles ahead. Now let's take a look at the exterior. The exterior of the Urbanaut should be recognizable as a Mini on the first read. The wheels straight in the outer corners, short overhangs and gently convex surfaces. And of course, we wanted to establish new design elements. We came up with a purist and understated monovolume design. It ensures maximum utilization of space with a minimal footprint. And that is our mindset of creative use of space. In the front, we also interpreted many design icons in new ways. At first glance, there are no headlights. They're only seen when activated, fully hidden under the milled aluminum structure. The grille is closed now and has an octagonal shape. With its built-in sensors, it turns into an intelligent panel. Thanks to its convex surfaces, the rear of the Urbanaut is instantly visible as a Mini 2. Let's talk about the exterior color. The surfaces of the exterior set the ideal stage for the color scheme. The silk made exterior shade of our paint, which we call Zero Gravity, transitions from metallic green with blue flip effect to a subtle gray. And even the windows show a pattern in the color, fading from the bottom to the top. And that creates the visual impression that the body and the greenhouse become a single unit. Let me show you some beautiful little objects, the mini charms. You can collect and change them. They are on display behind glass on the C-pillar as an homage to the badges and pins that people use to collect as souvenirs of places or festivals or other events. Now we turn to the wheels, my personal highlight of the exterior. The styling is inspired by skateboards, finished in a nice shade which we call Ocean Wave. And at second glance, you'll notice the Union Check pattern, a clear tribute to our heritage. The tires flow into the rims as we wanted the wheels to be perceived as a whole. They're also backlit, giving them an additional dimension. Together with the front and the rear lights, we achieved a 360 degree light communication with the surroundings. And each mini moment is underlined by a distinct animation. Let's move on to the doors, or to be more precise, the door. The Mini Vision Urban Out can be accessed via one single large sliding door on the passenger side. We developed a smart slide, ideal for urban conditions where space is limited. And as a little nice extra, the space is large enough to comfortably just sit on the floor of the Urban Out to hang out. I almost forgot about the other large opening, the exceptional windscreen. Opening the windscreen creates a wonderful sense of space. As I unwind on a daybed, I'm in direct contact with my surroundings. We call it the street balcony. Well, this is it, the mini vision urban out. To design a vision like this is only possible with the collaboration of a fantastic team of creative minds. And I'm really happy to have such a team. Thank you very much. If you would like to know more, watch the unveiling and the making of of the Mini Vision Urban Out. Thank you very much and see you. Bye bye.
die Frage für mich ist, wie wollen wir in Zukunft leben? Welches Angebot können wir machen? In der Stadt fehlt mir der Raum. Eine der wichtigen Sachen ist, sich Fragen zu stellen. Was kann ich tun? Was können wir mit Klang erreichen? Gerade im urbanen Bereich zählt jeder Quadratmeter. Was ist, wenn wir diesen Raum besser nutzen? Ich glaube, wir müssen mehr mit Architekt arbeiten. Wir bauen Fahrzeuge für zukünftige Städte. Das heißt für mich, wie integrieren wir unsere Fahrzeuge in so eine Umgebung? Autos sind oft akustische Fremdkörper im Cityscape. Wie können wir Klang komponieren, die sich als natürliche Stimme in die Städte passt? Nachhaltigkeit sollte ein selbstverständliches Thema sein für uns als Designer. Wie können wir Produkte gestalten, die langlebig sind, die Materialien wiederverwenden? Wir haben uns gefragt, wie wir das Auto neu gestalten können, neu denken können. Wir sind dazu übergegangen, das Fahrzeug nicht mehr als reines Fortbewegungsmittel zu betrachten, sondern als Extended Habitat, als Raum, den man im Stand nutzen kann. Das ist das erste Mal, dass wir bei Mini ein Auto gestalten, wo wir nicht nur von Fahren reden. Wir haben drei Momente entwickelt, drei komplett unterschiedliche Gesichter von dem Auto. Einer davon ist Wanderlust, wo wir in diesem Fall fahren. Und dann haben wir Wipe und Chill. Da wollen wir zeigen, was das Auto kann, wenn es nicht fährt. Das Raumkonzept ist gestaltet fürs Zusammensein. Wir wollten eine textile Landschaft schaffen, wie mein Wohnzimmer, das ich unterwegs dabei habe. Ein User Interface ist nicht unbedingt ein Display oder Knöpfen. Ein User Interface ist für mich etwas, was du fühlen kannst. Das Auto wird auf bestimmte Situationen reagieren und genau die richtige Lichtinszenierung oder Sound oder UI anbieten können. Für mich ein Auto ist eine hochkomplexe Klang- und Kunstinstallation, mit dem wir uns emotional ausdrücken können. Ich versuche, Designsprache im Klang zu übersetzen. Bei den Materialien setzen wir auf Nachhaltigkeit. Wir sind chromfrei, lederfrei, Fokus auf Verwendung von Rezyklaten. Bestimmte Zonen sind eher auf dem Fokus Klimaaktivität und andere sind eher funktional gestaltet. Das finde ich super. Wenn wir eine neue Raumerfahrung generieren wollen, nach dem Motto Creative Use of Space, brauchen wir auch einen Bezug. Wir haben gesagt, das ist der Raum, den ich für mich brauche, für mich, für meine Freunde, für meine Familie. Der nächste Schritt war wirklich, eine Linie drumherum zu zeichnen. Für mich war es extrem wichtig, dass wir ein Modell bauen, das diesen Raum beschreibt. Wir nennen das Spantenmodell. Hätte das nicht geklappt, hätte ich es zu Hause auf der Terrasse auch mit Latten nachgebaut. Grundsätzlich war die Frage, wie geht es jetzt eigentlich weiter? Der Corona-Shutdown war schon ein Riesenproblem für uns, weil die Lieferanten in Kurzarbeit waren. Wir konnten Materialien nicht zu Ende entwickeln. Und plötzlich möchten wir alle Homeoffice machen. Ihr habt noch nie vorher so lange auf einen Bildschirm gestartet. Das große Problem an Corona war, dass niemand wusste, wie und ob wir weitermachen. Als die Entscheidung kam, dass wir das Projekt virtuell weiterfahren, war ich froh, dass wir weitermachen, aber gleichzeitig auch extrem enttäuscht, weil wir wollen es doch erleben. Ich hätte nichts lieber getan, als mich hinten einfach mal reinzufläzen. Der Lockdown hat uns andere Arbeitsweisen aufgezwungen, aber gefühlt hat das eigentlich die Effizienz des Teams sogar noch verbessert. Wir hatten auch Sachen schon bestellt, zum Beispiel ein Objekt, was man in die Hand nehmen kann, 3D gedruckt. Und dieses kann ich nutzen, um die verschiedenen Momente auszuwählen. Dieses Objekt ist für uns die Schnittstelle zwischen dem Analogen und dem Digitalen. Der Mini Vision Urban Out kann sich anpassen an die Situation, wo ich gerade bin. Und das geht dann Richtung Felgen, Richtung Scheinwerfer, Windschutzscheiben. Es soll keine Grenze da sein zwischen Exterior und Interior. Das erste Mal haben wir Soundscape umgesetzt. Zum Beispiel in den Chill-Moment haben wir Klänge aus der Naturwelt im Fahrzeug gebracht. 
und dadurch lösen wir ja diesen Abstand zwischen außen und innen. Ein User Interface ist nicht unbedingt ein Display. Ein User Interface ist für mich, was du fühlen kannst. Ein User Interface, der präsent ist, nur wenn man was braucht, füllst dieses Material und du kriegst eine, eine Antwort, lichtbasiert, und das geht dann wieder weg. Unsere Vision ist, in Zukunft intelligente Materialien zu verwenden, zum Beispiel im Exterior Lack, der dann Schadstoffe aus der Luft filtern kann. Und das wäre natürlich schon ein Game Changer. Im Fahrzeug erlebt man gleichzeitig Duft, Materialien, Licht, User Interface und Klang. Die Vision war, eine Kohärenz zu kreieren, eine Kohärenz der Ästhetik, damit, wenn sie zusammenkommen, als eins sich anfühlt. Ich glaube, mit diesem Konzept werden die Leute sehen, was man mit einem Auto in der Zukunft machen kann. Und hier gestalten wir unsere Vision von der Mobilität von morgen. Und vielleicht fahren ist nur ein kleiner Teil davon. Also wenn man den Minivision Urban Road betrachtet, dann ist das Konzept mit Licht, Sound und Duft wie eine eigene kleine Atmosphäre, meine Oase. Das Einzigartige ist, dass wir einen kompletten Raum anbieten. Wenn wir Nachhaltigkeit aus einer persönlichen Perspektive betrachten, bietet der Urban Nord natürlich wahnsinnige Möglichkeiten. Ja. Das ist ein Rückzugsort, eine Oase, wie wir sagen. Und das ist, glaube ich, ein ganz, ganz besonderer Aspekt. Natürlich ist der Mini Vision Urban Out ein Fahrzeug, aber es ist viel mehr. Es ist die Idee einer möglichen Zukunft. Was die Menschen schon merken, ist, dass das Automobil mehr sein wird, anders sein wird. Es findet ein Wandel statt und diesen Wandel zu gestalten, ist, ist unheimlich spannend. Hi Paul, I have some questions for you. Talking about iconic design, what do you think? So iconic design for me is to do with purity, simplicity, the skill of understanding proportion and scale, keep it simple, straightforward, function, form, ergonomics. That's what I like. How does design work now in comparison to when Mini was born? Yeah, that's interesting. Um, When Mini was born, it was born out of a crisis. Um, and there was no waste around that car, right? It was really the minimum of the minimum. And it's still that what's part of our claim, the minimal footprint. The term sustainability didn't exist at that time, but it was sustainable. The initial concept of the Mini uh, when it was first designed was uh, genius because it was a car for modern times. So it was a very practical car. It was very simple uh, in terms of its design for uh, uh, cities that were growing. Oliver, how do you face uh, sustainability challenges in the car industry? One of our biggest influences in design development is sustainability. There is no future without sustainable materials because it's affecting every little screw within a car. So how do we treat resources we do have? Which materials will we have in the future cars? Therefore, we do have our new Mini Vision Urban Out where we are having materials that are entirely recycled, for instance. In the team, we are talking about a mindset and not just about a specific material. And therefore, it's not just a design approach what we are talking about in the future, it's uh, the approach of an entire company. How do you face sustainability challenges? Well, I think the importance about uh, sustainability is the fact that we should all be conscious of it. We should all be conscious that uh, we waste so much. And uh, sustainability for me has been a very natural thing. We use recycled packaging, we don't use any fur. So we work hard at uh, sustainability. 
How could fashion design and car design be combined? It's my job to provoke. It's my job to say, why, why don't we try that? What about this? What about making the jacket inside out? Same with the car. You know, I think I can probably go to the factory, respect the history of the Mini, but maybe turn it on its head. So the wheels will be at the top. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Me personally, I think, since our brands are pretty close together, I believe we need to do something together. Let's do a collaboration. I hope so, which would be fantastic.